Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Classic Live Album War. Today we've got two really different releases here, one from 75, one from 1980. All right. One, a classic live release from a jazz keyboard legend and his band doing some really cool kind of funky jazz fusion rock jams and things. Okay. The other, a British band at the height of their powers, releasing a double live set that encompasses so many great songs from their discography up to that point. Okay, a band that mixed kind of uh, British pop and rock, little bits of jazz, certainly plenty of prog, right? A very eclectic sound, very appealing to the masses. So, of course, we're talking about in the ring today, we've got Herbie Hancock, Flood, okay, originally only a J Japanese release, and then Super Tramp. Paris. I know a lot of you are saying, but Pete, God, these are night and day, apples and oranges. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, as we get through in this live album tournament, you're going to see a lot of weird matchups, right? And, and, and when you come down to it, they're just live albums, all right? Every live album is different. It doesn't even matter if the bands are in the same genre. Live albums are quite different. So here you got two totally different genres coming together. It is what it is, right? So let's go to this one here. So this is Flood. Originally recorded June 28, 1975, and July 1st, 75. Also that same year uh, in Tokyo, a couple different places in Tokyo, Japan. All right, released in 1975. Originally only a Japanese release, but then they decided to release it throughout the rest of the world, okay? Which is a good thing. And this uh, features basically the, uh, the Headhunters band, okay? So Herbie Hancock on all sorts of different keyboards. Acoustic Piano, Electric Piano, Fender Rhodes, Clavinet, ARP Odyssey, ARP Soloist, ARP String Ensemble, The Master, The Virtuoso. You got Bernie Maupin on saxophone, bass clarinet, flute, Dwayne Blackbird McKnight on guitar, Paul Jackson on bass, Mike Clark on drums, and Bill Summers on percussion, congas, and things like that. So you've got a, a bunch of Hancock classics, all right? A lot of really lengthy tunes here. Very funky album. Got some tunes, you know, where uh, Herbie kind of carries over that classic bebop style jazz that he was known for back in the 60s, all right? But mixing with the jazz rock and funk element, right? So kicking off, you got Maiden Voyage, all right? An actual proof. Okay, next up is the wonderful Spank Ali. Love that title of that tune. Uh, then you got, of course, his incredible Watermelon Man, all right? Butterfly near 13 minutes long, Chameleon, over t clocking it over 10, and then finishing it all up at about 20 minutes long, you've got Hang Up, your hang-ups, all right? Like I said, a ton of, like, amazing funky grooves on this album. You know, the head, the, this whole 70s period for Hancock was just a great time period for him you know, just kind of diving into funk and African rhythms and all this kind of stuff. The Mwandishi band, the Headhunters. You know, Herbie was doing some really, really different stuff, using all sorts of different electronic keyboards, right? Tons of bass, and fuzz bass, and, you know, wah-wahs on the guitars and things like that. And intricate rhythms and tribal rhythms. A lot of really, really good stuff. A fantastic live album, okay, that I think probably a lot of folks on this channel might not have heard. And if you haven't, definitely go check it out. It's really, really good. Kind of falls under the radar for a lot of people. Uh, probably because it, you know, got released here, especially in the States, so late. Um, an incredible, incredible live album of a really, really great, great band. All right, on the other end of the ring, Paris by Supertrap. Recorded the 29th of November, 1979, at the Pavillon de Paris in Paris, France. All right, that's why it's called Paris. Released... September 1980, almost a year later, right? You started to see that as you moved into the 80s, live albums, you know, back in the 70s, in the 60s, record a live album, release it a month or two later. You know, as you start to get on late 70s into the 80s and so on, you know, record a live album, take forever to kind of mix and master it and do the overdubs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so here we're starting to see that here almost a year later, it sees its release. But a great album, a double album that kind of encompasses up to that point because, you know, Supertramp, Hot on the Heels of Breakfast in America are a huge band, okay? The, the, the peak of their popularity. So releasing this live album basically throws into the set list 
all of the great tunes from all those albums kind of leading up to you know the more popular tracks as well as the really strong fan favorite tracks they're all here rick davies uh, keyboards vocals harmonica roger hodgson guitars keyboards vocals john helliwell saxes woodwinds keyboards uh dougie thompson on bass and bob cider cyber side ben berg can never say his name right uh on drums and percussion okay as well as some backing vocals so what do we got here on this expertly produced this is a great sounding live album in fact the one thing that a lot of folks over the years have said is kind of a negative here is that the performances and the songs are all performed like exactly like you hear them on the album so on the regular studio album so this is not one of those live albums where you're going to get all sorts of stretching out and solos and things like that these are the songs as you know them as you love them performed impeccably live on stage for some folks, eh, that might be a little lacking, right? For others, that's exactly what you want. This was a big seller. So I think, uh, again, for those folks, I think at the time, who really maybe only knew the Breakfast in America album, this was a great chance to hear their favorites from that album live and then a lot of those deep cuts from the earlier albums that maybe they hadn't experienced yet. Kicking it all off with side one with School. All right. Classic track. Ain't Nobody But Me. The Logical Song bloody well right i mean right there that's like four killer tunes to start this all off all right side two you got the great title track to breakfast in america you started laughing all right hiding your shell and from now on all right another strong album side side three dreamer you're nothing but a dreamer those high-pitched vocals of roger hodson right uh the incredible rudy one of super tramp's best songs ever uh, a soap opera, a soapbox opera, and then the wonderful Asylum. Okay, another great side of vinyl there. Side four, take the long way home. Their big hit from this live album, the incredible epic Fools Overture, very underrated track from the band. Then a quick little brief two of us, and then finishing it all off with, of course, the best tune to finish off a Super Tramp concert. Crime of the Century, ultra drama, okay, dramatic, great, powerful, melodic tune, all right, so a killer live album, actually both of these are, are pretty killer live albums, so, you know, we get to the part of the show where Pete's got to decide, well, which one does he prefer, there's things about both of these albums that I really love, I think, you know, as far as like the incredible jaw-dropping musicianship and experimentation and just fucking going for it, right, you got to give it to this one. For the part of me that loves the kind of the familiar and the I love a great live album that's got a killer set list that features just about everything you'd want to hear and perfect sound that would be this one for me this is a pick 'em, right this is a this is a pick 'em. I'd, I'd give this a draw if I wanted to kind of weasel my way out of this but I'm not going to do that today um, you know my the musical part of me wants to go with this one here but I think I have to go with the one that I probably reach for the most, the one that I play the most, that in the end, um, the one that probably means just a little bit more to me. It doesn't mean one's better or worse than the other. It's the one, again, it's all a matter of preference. All right, got to pick one. Uh, I'm going to go with Super Tramp by a hair. All right, just by a hair. And I love this. All right, so for me, this is going to be, a, I'm going to you know, make it real fair here. The split decision, all right? 115, 114, 115, 113, 116, 114. The winner for me, by a nose, split decision is Super Tramp. But if you ask me next week, I could say this. I know there's going to be some of you, especially your you know, long-time jazz fans, like, no way that Super Tramp beats Herbie Hancock. Well, maybe not for you. And like I said, I could probably change my mind tomorrow. All right, I love them both. There is no right or wrong answer here. We all like what we like. Some days I might prefer this, others I might prefer this. I love them both, just almost equal. All right, but today, just to, I'm going to make a pick today. If I had to choose one over the other to go on in this tournament, I'm going to pick Super Tramp. Like I said, your mileage may vary, and if so, that's cool. We all love what we love. All right, respect each other's opinions. I respect yours. All right, and if you prefer Herbie over Super Tramp, that's cool too. Right. Because you can't go wrong with either one. If you haven't heard either one, go out and listen to them before you place your vote here. 
because I, I, I guarantee we're going to have a bunch of people who haven't heard this. Go and listen to it. Your life will be better for it. Trust me on that. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little white circle with a letter I and a click on that. Vote for Herbie Hancock. Vote for Super Tramp. The winner after six days is going to go on to round three of our tournament. Round two is quickly wrapping up. We should be done with it uh, probably sometime early next week. Then we'll take a few days, maybe a week in between to get all the votes in. And then we'll start on round three. Round three should go a lot quicker, and then you know, hopefully, if it all goes according to plan, we should be done by this uh, with, with this tournament and crown a winner either New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. We'll have to see how it plays out, but I think we might be able to do it. All right, I think it would be cool actually to announce the winner on either or day. All right, and then 2020, we're going to start doing all sorts of other fun stuff. So, all right, so this is on the web, www.chtranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course, we're on YouTube all the damn time. We've got another one of these coming up later today and more coming up uh, to a day for the rest of the week. Uh, a little bit of a change in programming schedule. Steve Keeler was hoping to come on the show and do some of uh, these live album wars as well as some top 10 songs, but we got some stuff um, that he's got to attend to, all right, that's going to prohibit him from joining for this week, but we're going to catch up with Steve again in a couple of weeks. He's looking forward to coming back on the show for round three of the classic live album war and some top 10 songs so stay on the stay on the uh lookout for that all right and uh we've got a um questions and answers show coming up this weekend it will be the last live questions and answers show okay we're going to stop doing the live feed on saturday mornings so we're going to go back to the old format for a little bit where i'm going to just have you guys post your questions in the comments section i will pick out a handful each week do a quick show just on those questions all right so we're going to go back to that it just seems that that i think is a is going to work out better the the, the live show is fun i like the energy of it but it's just not working as far as getting good questions and you know people just rattling off a million questions and not letting everybody get a chance so it's 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 harder to control so we're going to go back to a format that i can control all right that hopefully will uh, be good for everybody all right so uh, again check us out on the website check us out on facebook vote for these both places if you want vote here vote on facebook the winner goes on to round two who will it be super tramp herbie hancock who's going to go on to round three we'll see vote and we'll see you guys later on all right take care bye-bye